Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Grinth. Today we are going to learn about bridge design pattern and we'll learn it with the help of a low level design and that design will be for notification service. So let's jump into the video. So the requirement that we are looking at are first we have a notification service that we have to create and this service should be decoupled from the main application so that it is like a plug and play kind of application. It can be plugged in with any application who wants to send a notification. So in this particular case, we will have a service which should support multiple types of notification. You should be able to send a text message or a QR code or in future you should be able to send any other form of message. Next is that the service should support multiple types of sending and multiple ways of sending your notification. So you should be able to send your notification as a text which will be an SMS or an email or WhatsApp message and uh, each type that you have it can it can have its own processor so so that uh, they all have their own single responsibility and finally the processor should not be tightly coupled because in future we may want to uh, basically add the uh, new way of sending notification like uh, we want to send a telegram message rather than whatsapp message or we even want to add a new type of messaging so that suppose it's like uh, uh, if it is uh, an internal application, so rather than a text message, I want to send a JSON or an XML message, that kind of scenario can come. So you should be able to handle or your application should be able to handle that kind of scenario. So the high level design for this will look something like this, where we will have some external application which wants to send a notification. We will have a queue. So whatever notification that the application wants to send, it can put it in a queue and from queue we can pick up that particular application. So we will have a message processor on our side which will pick up that particular message that has to be sent and it will process that. So what message processor will do is it will read the notification coming from the application so that it identifies. So this can be in a JSON format or an XML format and it can have multiple tag which will tell us that okay this message is of type uh, text message or a QR code and I want to send this message as a WhatsApp message or email or maybe SMS. So all those things can be added as part of the JSON format which this application can send it into the queue. So that can be a contract between the application and the message processor. These can be customized. And finally, uh, some design consideration. So we should have a scale. We should have this application so that uh, the service can uh, scale in case the there are a lot of traffic on the application. So you should be able to scale the application in the event when there is a lot of traffic on your application. For example, when you are booking using a system like Book My So on Fridays or weekends, you will get a lot of uh, ticket booking. So you should be able to handle that so that you can send the notification or the tickets to all the person who have booked the ticket. You should reduce the service downtime. So your notification service should be really reliable and it should be down for minimum time so that the tickets can be sent as soon as possible. And finally, you should be able to load balance and distribute the processing. So the idea here is that you should come up with a microservice architecture and you should be able to scale it up. So if you want to learn about how you can scale your microservice architecture, what design pattern you use for that, you can watch my video. The link is there in the description and there is a playlist for microservice tutorial which I have created some time back. So you can have a look at that also. So this is the overall high level design for the notification service. We'll jump into message processor and we'll talk in detail about it. So the message processor that we are going to build will be based on bridge design pattern and we'll see why it will be based on bridge design pattern. So before talking about that, let us understand what a bridge design pattern is. So what bridge design pattern does is it decouples the abstraction from its implementation. So there is a set of abstraction and there is set of implementation. So what it means is you define something and then you implement that something. So these two should be separate from each other. That is what the bridge design pattern tells us. Now it is helpful when the component which is your class and the method what what it means is that what the class is going to do. So there are two things. There is a template which is your class 
and there is the action that will be taken by the class both will vary and both can vary a lot for example in our case we have a template which is messaging or the notification that we are going to send so we have different notification that we support like text message qr code maybe json xml anything like that and we have a way to send these message or send these notification which will be via sms email or whatsapp message maybe telegram message so there are two things here there is a template which is the message type or the notification type and there is the implementation where we are there are ways in which we can send that particular message so they, these are two different thing one is the abstraction other is the implementation like i said in our case notification can be text email whatsapp and the way you send is you send a text message or sms email whatsapp message all are different so what bridge pattern will do here is it will create a bridge between the abstraction and its implementation so don't worry about it if you are not able to grasp it straight away just pause the video go back and watch it again and going further i will code for it so it will be little more clear that uh, how you can apply this bridge pattern and what is the abstraction part what is the implementation part so why we have chosen bridge design pattern for this particular example so some a lot of people have asked a question that how we will decide that which pattern to use in a particular case because some of the pattern look very close i will create a separate video for that where i can compare the various pattern and i'll come up with the solution that in which scenario we should use which design pattern but in this particular case the question is why bridge pattern was chosen in this example so first thing is that since the service support multiple type of notification multiple type of notifications are there which we can think of as an abstraction for sending the messages and each type can be implemented in multiple ways based on where we need to send the message so there is a template for notification and there is a way to send the notification so there are two things so consider an example so if we have three types of sending a message or sorry if we have two types of notification that we need to send and there are three ways in which we can send the notification so overall the combination comes up as 3 into 2 which is 6 and as you grow both the numbers the factor will increase so here it says that seems like we need to create n cross m classes which means the number of types and number of ways which will be 2 into 3 which is 6 but if we use bridge design pattern so in this particular case we will end up creating n plus m classes which will be number of types and number of ways of sending the message so as the number of type and ways increases you can understand that it will be growing in that particular way and why it says that it's almost equal to n plus m the reason being that you will create a couple of class for your to implement your pattern basically you will create some interface and abstract class for that that is why it's almost equal to n plus m now the abstraction that we were talking about as part of this message processor was we have types of message which is text and qr code and the implementation that we talked about is the way to send the message so we have implementing the way to send sms implementing the way to send email and whatsapp so this part is the n part this part is the m part so the bridge pattern what it will do is it will create a bridge between these two and it will make our life easy to create this notification service now next thing is that we'll jump into the code and we'll see how we can implement the bridge pattern to come up with the notification service so to implement the bridge pattern first we will create a notification sender so this will lie on the implement implementer side so like i explained for the bridge pattern there are two parts abstraction and the implementation so what notification sender will do is it will be an interface and it will have a method send notification so any any sender that we are going to implement they will basically uh, implement this particular interface and creates its own way to send the notification so we have this and now we have to create an abstraction so we need to create an abstract class which will be an abstraction of the types of uh, notification that we need to send so we'll call it notification let us say let's call it notification and we'll create it as an abstract class 
so this will have uh, the this will have the notification sender whatever notification sender that we have and let us add it in the constructor all to insert this will be added in the constructor and each message will have its own type of method which will be sending the notification so the basically notification has to be created and sent so this will be void send message or send notification we already have a notification sender here which we send that send notification so let us call it send message it does not matter we could have named it same and this will be abstract method let us now have all our abstractions first so the first abstraction that we will have is text message so this can extend the notification class and once we have the notification class this should be able to send the message and we can basically add the constructor here so this will call the super and here we will have this dot send notification so this will send notification for any text based uh, notification so if there is a notification which will send a text message this that type of uh, that type of message will be handled by this particular class let us create one more so here we will have uh, the qr message let me refactor this qr message and this will again extend the notification class we had so we'll implement this method and we'll add the constructor also so this is here and we'll have notification sender dot send notification so what this will do is in send message we can build some additional message which will be for qr code here we can call call some method to build qr code so you can add something here and finally you send the message so you use this send message to send the send notification via some channel now that channel will be based on whatever is added as part of this constructor it's whatever bean you invoke using this constructor now these two classes the qr message and the text message these two classes are basically the abstraction part which define the type of notification we are going to send the second part was the implementation for which we created this notification sender so let us create the implement concrete implementation of the this implementer so first one will be sms let us call the class as sms itself and this will implement the notification sender and here we can say system dot out we are going to send sms similar to this we can click create another implementation which will be for email this will implement again the notification sender and here we can say uh, out sending an email okay and for te for text message and all we can add a simple out here saying that this is a text message and uh, the other one was the qr message so here we can add this is the qr code let us create a bridge implementation or the main class let's call it bridge main so 
this will have public static void main here and here we will now suppose we want to send a text message over uh, uh, let's say email so what we'll do is we will create text message equals to new text message and this will have email and will have text message dot send message let us run this it takes a second to compile So it says that this is a text message sending an email. So this was sent via an email. Now suppose this was QR message and this will be QR message. This will be QR message. And I want to send it. Okay, we'll send it as email first and then we'll send it as SMS. So it says that this is QR code sending an email and if we use SMS, so this will do the same thing. It will create the QR code and it will send it as an SMS. So we are going to send SMS. So here we saw that when we have a situation where we have to create N cross M kind of class, we'll use bridge pattern to separate the abstraction from the implementation. And uh, that was the whole motto of uh, using this notification service. So I hope you liked the explanation. Do hit the like button. Comment if you have any any understanding issue. Just go back into the video or put it in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you. And do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching TechGrant. Bye.